So we got some more news regarding Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow with Millie L. C -c 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 Cock. So James Gunn responded to a fan question and the fan asked, How much of screen time does Millie L. C -c 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 Cock have as Supergirl in Superman Legacy? And James Gunn responded with saying this, I never even said she was in the movie. To which I retort with, Bullsh sh 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 shite. Listen, James, I love you. We all love you. We're all super excited for Superman Legacy, but who are you fooling, bro? Of course, she's gonna be in Superman Legacy. Where else are you gonna introduce her, huh? Are you gonna in introduce her in the Lantern Show, Batman Brave and the Bold, your mom's basement volume three with your sister and uncle? What are you t -t 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 talking about, James? I get it. You wanna protect. The surprise, you don't want people to know that Millie Alcock will indeed be in a cameo or probably in the first 10 minutes where we see her, where we see uh, her chemistry with David Cornsweet, and then something happens at the beginning of the film where she flies up into space and then that will lead her into her own solo adventure with Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Who knows? I don't care. I'm excited for Millie Alcock and Supergirl, but stop the nonsense that she won't be in Superman Legacy. We all know she is. We're excited. Stop it. I'm not going to, so quit asking. Now, this question and answer got me more excited than a German dominatrix gripping my testes. So, will directors have some input on the trailers as well? Matt Reeves, I think, was very involved in doing the first teaser for the Batman, and it was amazing. I agree. That first teaser for Matt Reeves, the Batman, where we see the Riddler beating the shit out of the mayor and getting a scotch tape and we see like the full-on pulp fiction gimp mask of the riddler like that was like whoa what is going on here this is definitely some horror elements and i am liking it susan so james gunn responded with saying this yes for sure i haven't had a trailer released i didn't have a lot of say in since my first film it's par for the course now the reason why i love this so much is because Superman Legacy won't show us the whole damn film within the 2 minute 30 second mark. James Gunn will tease us, will hype us up, but you know, in the past we've seen, especially BVS, where Warner Brothers just gave away the whole damn movie, gave away the whole Trinity shot, gave away Doomsday in the movie, gave away all the fight scenes with Batman and Superman, which was very short and minimal. So the fact that James Gunn is going to be very, um, very concise and very particular with scenes that you know he will release here and there uh make sure that he, do he doesn't show too much same thing with matt reeves the batman they won't show too much they'll just you know release scenes here and there where it, it won't spoil the whole damn movie where you have all the internet all, all the internet nerds going on twitter and dissecting every frame to, and putting scenes together like this is seen here and this scene belongs here and there you go i figured out the whole plot of the movie that won't happen here at all and i'm super excited about that uh he also said uh for dc peter and i have final say on everything but we work with a wonderful marketing team we trust and of course the individual filmmakers have a say too yes i love this again filmmakers have complete control on how they release the content that they feel comfortable with showing they're like mm, Ah, don't put that in the trailer because it shows too much. Mm, they'll put this scene in the trailer because it gives away certain plot points that I don't want the audience to know. Uh, don't show that because that's a really cool moment in the film and I don't want that spoiled in the trailer like many other superhero films have done in the past and still do. So we're going to pull back and just give little morsels here and there to amp up the fan base where they go see the movie for the first time in theaters and they're like, whoa, that's in the movie? Yes, it's in the movie. Like... I didn't know this was in the, even in the fucking movie. Well, that's great because we were going to put it in the trailer, but then we realized we're not stupid enough to put it in the trailer and not to spoil anything for you. So we're going to put it in the movie. We're going to save it in the movie. So when you're in the movie theater, you're relaxed and back getting a BJ from your girlfriend and you're like, oh my God, this scene is amazing. I love this. I love this, bro. See, this is why there's his own DC studios. They have complete control 
of the narrative and what they want to release and what they don't want to release. Mwah! Brilliant! Chef's kiss! I love you, James. Ah, great news for everybody involved. So that's going to be it. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok, this is Sash, except in the comments below. What do you think of this news? Are you excited? that you know they won't release everything out in the trailer that you know they have complete control of everything of the narrative of, of the of the plot points and set picks and set videos that hopefully don't get leaked because they have it all wrapped under control hopefully we'll see how it goes for, for david corn's red when you know when he starts actually shooting outdoors with the full-on costume hopefully james gonna will release a nice hd picture to combat all the leaks so we'll see how that works out love you all Stay safe, truth out. Possible homosexual. Must investigate further.